So I'm in Affinity Designer here, and I'm gonna show you how to add texture to your designs. This tutorial also applies to Affinity Photo, and the interfaces between Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo are so similar that you can just follow along in Affinity Photo if, if that's the software you're using. So the way I have this graphic set up is each layer I have a different color, and then I have a background color, and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off that background layer for now. And I'm gonna select all the other layers with the graphic and just go Command or Control G to group them. And then for our brushes, we wanna load some Plastisol brushes. So I go to Import Brushes, and in the Plastisol collection, these are vintage wash and worn cracked ink t-shirt textures. I'm going to select the Plastisol 5K brushes. These are 5,000 pixel brushes, which will be adequate resolution for your t-shirt graphics. So this says our brush is imported successfully. These are Photoshop brushes, but they work in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. So the next thing we're going to want to do is let's go up here to the upper left corner. And since we're in Affinity Designer, we want to go into Pixel Persona. And these are pixel-based brushes. Um, if you're in Affinity Photo, this you won't need to do this because that's a pixel-based program. But the instructions from here on out will be the same between the both the different versions of Affinity. So let's go ahead and just select one of these brushes. I'll just select Plastisol 1. And like I mentioned before, we group these layers. But what we're going to want to do is click on this little button that says Mask Layer. And that will allow us to paint into this design with the texture. And also let's make sure to select our paintbrush tool. And you'll see here that there's texture with that brush. So let's go ahead and use our left bracket key. And you'll see how that sizes the texture down. Let's size it up just a little bit bigger than the graphic. And we're just painting black into this mask and you just click once and now your texture is applied. And I'll turn back on that background black layer so you can see that that texture is transparent and it's knocking through your design. Now, if you wanna export this out as a PNG, just turn off your background layer or you can save it out as an Affinity Designer file.